What's up guys, it's Coach Jordan, back with another Coach's Briefing for you. Uh, so today we have another two-part workout. Part one has two options. Option A, if you have a barbell, we're gonna be doing RDLs. And much like with the front squats earlier this week, uh, this is almost uh, exactly the same as last week's RDLs, we're just going a little bit heavier. So we'll be using that 10 minute EMOM pattern, minute one, you'll have 10 RDLs, between uh, 58 and 63% of your one rep max, uh, and then minute two will have a rest. The B option is if you don't have a barbell, but you have a heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell, we can do goblet good mornings, all right? Uh, I would also recommend if you don't have a heavy uh, barbell with the goblet good mornings, go ahead and if you have a weighted vest, wear that too. That just makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, Anyway, so uh, after our part one is done, we're finished with our RDLs, we're gonna move into a core and glute piece. So uh, we're gonna be doing single leg glute bridges and uh, a combination of V-ups and hollow rocks. So basically, uh, we've got five rounds, we've got uh, 15 single leg glute bridges each side, then we're gonna follow that up with 15 V-ups and 15 hollow rocks, all right? Once you get done with both of those things, you'll rest for exactly one minute and dive right back in. However long it takes you to get done with those five rounds, including that one minute of rest, is your score. Now, uh, there will be a 15 minute time cap on that, so don't dilly-dally, make sure you're being diligent with your work, but make sure you are getting the desired effect out of the workout for the day. Now, some scaling options for that. Uh, four piece. We can adjust the single leg glute bridges. We can add some weight if those body weight feel pretty easy. We can also uh, we can also uh, make them a little bit of an easier movement. So we can drop them down instead of doing single leg glute bridges. If you're not quite ready for those, you can do both legs. Right. So you can just do regular glute bridges. Um, now, as far as the V ups and hollow rocks. We can adjust the V-ups to tuck-ups and tuck rocks. We can do 15 tuck-ups and then 15 tuck rocks. Also, we could do dead bugs, all right? So we could do a total of 20 dead bugs uh, during each round. That would also be a good scaling option. All right, guys, uh, more details on that for each side of me, and we'll talk to you soon.